Hey guys, I'm Angela Jean and welcome to my channel. Today is going to be a very quick rampage on how to flip your perspective when things are not going well. If you seem to be having a bad day, bad week, bad month, <laughs> just kidding. If you seem to be having just a bad time or you're just wondering why things aren't going right for you or you're wondering or why you didn't get the job or why you didn't get the guy, you guys have to realize that when you're manifesting, everything has to crumble before it can come back together. You are manifesting at all times. So the beautiful thing about when shit starts to go wrong is that you have created a shift in the universe. You have created a shift in your reality. And oftentimes it has to crumble to rebuild. Oftentimes the guy you have has to go to bring in the good one. Oftentimes the job you're in has to go to bring in your dream job. And that can be applied to everything. So when shit starts to go wrong, you should actually be doing the opposite and start getting excited because you have created a shift. And that is the most important time to not get into that low vibrating stress out space. That's the time when you really need to focus forward, really get clear on your manifestation. You guys, so that's just something to remember. Manifesting is a bumpy road, so you're going to need to buckle up. And oftentimes when things start going rough and things start falling apart, that's when people give up and they forget what they're manifesting. They get so hyper-focused on the problem that you'll often hear that in a lot of success stories where people are about to give up and they push through and that's when like the biggest dreams came through. Like if you think about it, I used to be in the music industry and how oh, kind of okay for example I don't know if you guys remember no doubt but or even Adele both of those artists were touring for I think a few years and had a few albums nothing Gwen Stefani got her heart broken when the drummer her boyfriend her long-term boyfriend broke up with her right so not only did they not get re-signed to a label her boyfriend broke her heart like she could have just quit and been like oh my god what did she write she wrote the biggest hit song that put him on the map that song don't speak same with Adele I think it was hello so oftentimes you'll hear these stories in Hollywood a lot but it happens to everyday people as well so when things starts to get bumpy that means that your current reality is being torn down something is going to rebuild something is going to inspire that spark so you have to keep pushing and pushing and pushing through and for all of you guys that follow this my last year was a shit show like I was crying in every freaking video. It's like almost embarrassing. I kind of want to delete all those videos, but that's life, so I'm just gonna leave them up. But trust me, I can't, I can't even look at them. I will not even look at them because they're just embarrassing. But that's part of it. My perseverance paid through. Now I'm doing motivational speaking, power of attraction. I'm doing live meditation. So like that brought me to my calling and that brought me to my purpose. I'm having so much fun doing this. Okay, you guys. So the next time you're having a bad day, just be like, oh, killer whatever I'm manifesting is coming. This shit's gotta go, you know what I mean? Every manifestation is different. Every manifestation has a different gestation time as well, you guys. So depending upon how big your wish is, how big your manifestation is, how big your dreams are, it takes a different amount of time. If I cook a meal, it takes an hour. If I plant a tree, it takes a month. If I build a house, it takes a year. If I have a baby, it's nine months, you know what I mean? So everything has its own gestation period. Another thing to realize, you guys, is that you are preparing your container. The container is your body. A lot of gurus talk about this with manifestation. You have to clear out the old to be able to embody the new. And a lot of times, if you're looking for a higher level relationship, you have to deal with all your issues. Like this year, I cleaned the slate. I dealt with so much of my hidden traumas and I really healed myself. And my body, my container was ready and I called someone in and it's going pretty freaking amazing. I don't wanna jinx it, so I'm not gonna talk about it. But you have to realize at the same time, with a lot of these jobs, with a lot of these relationships, you have to elevate yourself. You have to become a stronger female. You have to become more spiritually aware, more grounded, heal your traumas, whatever your stuff is, or you're gonna keep attracting in the same kind of person. You have to higher your vibration. And when you have a lot of trauma, that comes with a lot of negative thinking, that comes with a lower vibration. So you're only gonna attract people at your level, okay, you guys? So a lot of it is inner work while the manifestation is coming. As you're doing the work, it's coming. So it's just like this dance, you know what I mean? So you have to keep persevering, doing your work. It's coming, it's coming, and as soon as you align, that is when it manifests, okay, you guys? So that's why you have to keep persevering, doing the work, whether it's a job, whether it's inner work for the best, you know, a husband, a partner, whatever it is you're trying to manifest. You understand? It starts coming together, magnetizing, magnetizing, magnetizing when you're aligned. It will connect, it will manifest into your reality. All right, you're manifesting the new, so welcome in. Let all the crap be washed away. 
in the storm. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. That's my quick little rampage for Thursday. Bye. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. If you have not subscribed to my channel right there, I post every Thursday and Saturday. Last week's video is right there. Bye. <laughs> yeah.